concert pitch, like a piano. Think of a piano. So a piano's A is my B. Okay, it's a little sharp. Um, when we're playing together, certain notes will be sharper, certain notes will be flat. So you just, you want to get to, I think if you get your B in tune pretty much, you'll you'll be close to pitch with what I'm doing. Now, um, on sax, many times when you go up high, you'll go sharper. And sometimes that's the sax and, and the way it's set up and stuff. Sometimes it's, many times it's because a student is biting. Okay? So you don't want to bite or put pressure to go up high. You want the octave key to do all the work. So now if I take my tuner and I play a B and then push the octave key, that's right on it didn't even move it was it was right at the zero b b I didn't change anything here. I, I, I blew my air a little faster. If I don't blow my air faster, it's a little flat. So you blow your air a little faster, and it should be right in the pitch. And you can try that with your tuner. Play a note, and then play the top note, and try not to change this. A lot of students think they have to squeeze or bite um, or create more pressure to get the high note. You shouldn't have to do that. You should just press the octave key. And a lot of times to demonstrate this, you know, a student will go sharp as they go up, they push the octave key and go up. So I'll have them close their eyes and play a B, and then I'll push the octave key without them seeing. And many times it'll the B will be will go up and be close to the zero, maybe a little flat, because they, they're not blowing with faster air. Um, but it'll be close to the zero, as opposed to when they do it and they know they're doing it, they push the octave key and they go, they go 10, 20 cents sharp because they're squeezing many times and, and creating added tension. So you don't want to do that. At the same time, you don't want to loosen up too much, too. You